Yo, what's up guys, Jarrah here, come back at you guys with another video. Now in today's video guys, I've actually got a tutorial video on how you guys can stream to either YouTube, Twitch, wherever you guys want to stream without a capture card in high quality using Remote Play and OBS. Now if this video does help you out, then please be sure to share it with your friends if you think that you can help them stream or whatever. Please be sure to leave a like on the video if you want to help me out personally, that really does mean a lot to me. And also if you guys have any questions about this or anything, just leave it in the comments section down below and I should be able to reply to you. Or if you are watching this video and you know a fair amount about this stuff and you see a comment of someone you know asking a question i haven't replied to them then if you guys want to reply to that you know just help each other out with it because it is very very easy but i understand you know having questions and stuff i'll be sure to answer them but like i said if you know a lot about this stuff and you know you want to answer any then go ahead but anyways guys let's get straight into the video so there is going to be two free softwares that you guys are going to have to download to be able to stream the first is obs which is stands for open broadcast software uh, if you just type up obs on google it will come up. you can either download it on windows mac or linux and the other software is remote play so if you just type up once again remote play on uh, google and then click on the first link it will then give you an option what to download it on i've got a mac so i would obviously just click mac and then just wait for them to to download okay so we're here on my camera sorry if it's a bit shaky i just thought that it would be easier to record this with my camera instead of you know as a screen record so i can show you what to do exactly so what you're going to want to do is when you uh, obviously open Remote Play, this is the Remote Play app, it's going to give you a few instructions. Now, I don't have them exact instructions purely because um, I've already opened the application before. So one of the instructions will be to go onto your PS4, you go into settings, and then you go to uh, Remote Play Connection settings, and then Enable Remote Play, and then you'll have to, there'll be a key here, a key, and the key that it comes up, you type in on here and then that will connect you to the remote play so obviously I don't have that at the moment because I've already opened remote play before and I've already used the app but that's the first step the second step is to plug your uh, PS4 charging you know the charging cable into your computer Mac PC whatever you've got I'm doing it on Mac so I plugged it into the back and then you're going to want to plug this into disconnected but as you can see it's plugged in there my controller is smashed yep it, it it's a piece of shit um <clears throat> so and then obviously it'll come up use it from your computer into a ps4 while you're away from it start and then it's going to be searching nearby so you've already plugged this in and then it should come up with that and like i said once you've given your key and everything that will connect you to this now what i've seen a lot of people doing online is they are so they're doing the remote play so basically with remote play you can have your ps4 in a different room and then i can just play it on my computer so my my ps4 could be i don't know like next door and then i can connect my controller to this and still be able to play uh now the thing is with that is there's an input delay so i don't know if you guys can see this but i'm going to go down ready do you see how it happens that split second faster on the left ready on this one it'll be faster than this ready Now, I don't know if you guys can like, actually see that. Like, there, there's basically a delay. Now, you don't want this delay because it will be, you know, when you're streaming or whatever, you don't want to have a delay when you're playing because, you know, if you shoot someone, let's say on Fortnite, then it's going to happen like literally a second later and that can spare your life. It, it's really annoying. You do not want this. So, if I was you, put your computer just next to your screen like this and just play on this screen, but have this for the streaming. So, literally, you'll be playing on this screen. I've seen people online, they're playing on their computer. You don't want to do that. When we plan on this screen so there's no input delay okay <laughs> you got that all right so now you've got all this set up you're going to want to open the obs program that i told you to um install earlier and you're going to click add scene um and then we're just going to call this like streaming streaming okay okay and then on the sources bit here as you can see sorry i'm really really shaky then you click add on the source part as well and then click window capture i'm just going to literally leave it as window capture and then click this bit here and then you search for ps4 remote play so you go okay and then you make this however big you want to do it now this does usually snap in um there you go so and then obviously that's that and then if we just click that so you can literally, you literally snap this in to make it the shape that you want it. Obviously you don't want that bar at the top there, so you just literally keep playing around with it. So there, there you go, that's perfect. 
So now you have literally got up your stream and then I'm going to show you guys a couple other settings. So now you've got your stream perfect, everything's working, you know, you're ready to stream. So you've got everything set up now, everything's perfect. Now I'm going to be teaching you guys the audio side of things, which is very, very important for you to be able to get it working. So if you look here, if I plug this mic, okay, into this PS4 controller, you know, well, it, the audio jack, it will not work. So if I plug this in now, I do not get any game sound from these headphones because this is connected to the computer. Now, although whatever you move on here will move on this screen, the audio still does not come out of this controller. So there is a very easy fix to this. With my headset, you have a... <clears throat> so there is a very easy fix to this. You need to get one of these. Now, now even if you don't have a Razer headset, you can still get one of these. This is like a mini mix amp thing, okay? And you need, you literally need a box, okay, that has a USB end so that you can plug it into your PS4. As you can see, this is USB plugged into my PS4, and a box that has one of these to plug in. Obviously, this headset. Now, with this, the sound comes through here, obviously, into this box, and then with that, you plug this wire into this box, and I will now get sound through this headset. Okay. With this, you obviously have a, you obviously have a microphone. So if I speak through this, my friends in my party can hear me. Everything like that because it's plugged into this. It's still connected to the PS4. I can hear all game sound. And then now that my friends can hear me, obviously the stream needs to hear me. So I've got this microphone here, and this mic is a USB mic that plugs into my computer. It's a blue snowball. You guys probably know what this is. You plug this into your computer. So then the stream, when that you're streaming, they'll hear from this mic, but your friends will hear you from this mic here. And then to be able to hear your friends, all you have to do is actually go to the PS4 party and um, click, what is it, party settings, uh, chat audio, allow voice, your voice to be shared, always allow. Your friends all have to select, always allow. Um, and that's literally that. That is the stream perfect. So now you can stream, your audio will be coming through this mic, your friends can hear you through this mic, the stream can hear your friends, everything's working, you don't have an input delay and the stream is perfect. If you want to watch a more in-depth video on OBS, then you can obviously go look one up. I'm not here to make a complete in-depth video on OBS, but basically you can add more scenes and more sources. So you can have overlays, so you can put your webcam here, you can have donations, you can do anything you want. You can have an overlay, you can have genuine whatever you want on OBS. It's an excellent, excellent software and I would recommend it. By the way, they're not sponsoring this video. Okay, I'm just putting it out there. No one fucking sponsors me. Um, but that is how to stream to Twitch, to YouTube, anything you want in perfect quality. But yeah, that was today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really, really sorry about the actual camera quality and the audio quality on that. I end up recording the whole video twice, but there is actually something wrong with my phone, camera, and mic and stuff. Like, I remember I, I put it in, like, some fucking... I, I, I dropped, like, some drink on it or something. I don't know. That could be it. But yeah, it's really, really bad. So I'm really sorry for that, but I did try to make it as clear as possible. I'm going to put uh, all the rules in the description down below as well, so you can just follow them. But yeah, sorry about that. I do hope that, you know, it's all alright for you guys. The game Apex Legends has, you know, only been out recently, and I've been playing that, and I've had so much fun on it. So I think I want to start making videos on that as well. I want to thank you guys for the support on the last video. And I saw a comment the other day saying, you know, you thank people a lot and things like that, you know, saying, oh, you're very kind for saying this and etc. And maybe I'm overdoing it a bit. Personally, I don't feel like I'm overdoing it a bit. You know, if you guys like watch my videos and stuff like whenever i look at a video and it's got loads of views on it like it really does like make me happy so i'm just thanking you guys for any support any like any comment any view like you know anything that you guys do to help me out with, with all this it really does mean a lot to me so i'm gonna thank every single one of you thank you so much like i said any questions any questions at all you guys just leave it in the comments down below and i should be able to reply anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video